Hey guys, let us now examine the list box control. That's what we're going to explore in this video. So I have here created another form called FRM list box with the caption of using list box control. Let us now drag and drop the list box control here in the form. So let's uh, name this one as LST layer. The objective of our program here is to display all the layers in the drawing and uh, display it here in the list box control container. Then we will select from this list box and display the selected layer to the user. So we have here the LST layer. Let's go into the code. So what we need is to populate the list box when the user form is activated. We don't need to use this user form click. So let's uh, gather all the layer in the drawing. So this is our drawing here. If we check the layer, these are all the layers we have. We have 16 layers in this drawing. So all of these layer names will be displayed into our list box. Okay, so to do that, let's first create a variable called ly for layer as a CAD layer. And then we are now going to loop through the layer collections in this drawing using the for each function. So for each layer which is our ly here in this drawing dot layers here we do next okay so this is our layer collection and we are getting each individual layer from this collection so <clears throat> what we need to do is to basically add the layer name into the list box. So we have the LST layer that is our list box that add item and then LY that is the layer and the name. So that's just about it. So if this for each loop will loop through the layer collections and then display individual layer names into the list box. Okay, so if we run this program, there we go. This is all our layers. We have 16 layers. Okay, now we will uh, provide the list box some, some functionality. If let's say the user selects a layer here, we will just display it to the user in through the message box. So let's do that. If I double click on this LST layer list box, this is the event that's being triggered. So we need to declare a variable, str layer, as a string. It's just basically to store the layer name that is selected by the user. So str layer will be now equal to lst layer, the text box or, or the list box. I mean, that the text that is the selected item. Then we are going to do a message box selected layer is str layer 
UV information is UV OK only. Right? Let's try again running this program. So let me select this second layer. The selected layer is DB Windows. Okay? Walls. Walls. So that's about it. We will use this list box in our actual program later on. But for now, let's just examine how how it works and how we can make use of its functionality. Alright, that's about for the list box control.